Hi, I'm Mark from Latitude Junkies, and welcome to our channel. Our channel is all about music, entertainment, travel, and lifestyle. And I'm here in Breckenridge, Colorado today with my co-host Sandy, and we'd like to take you on our adventure. So pack your bags and let's go. As you may already know, Breckenridge is best known for its winter sports like skiing. However, it's a great place for summer vacationers. There's hiking, biking, golfing, even fly fishing. There's literally something here for everyone. Hey everyone, this is Sandy from Latitude Junkies. I'm sitting here in the Orlando airport with my friend and co-host Mark. Because we live on the Treasure Coast, we have several airport options. Today, for our first summer getaway, we'll be going to Breckenridge, Colorado. We chose Orlando to leave from because it's an easy airport to get to, easy airport to navigate, plus Southwest Airlines has a direct flight from here to Denver. Isn't it high time for you to go and check out Breckenridge? It's a really cool place to be and see. We stayed at the Hyatt Residence Club, and this is a picture of our room. Since it was just Sandy and myself, we got a studio, which is a value that fit our budget. The nice thing about a studio is it's cozy. It's just big enough for two people, and it's got a kitchen. It's got a coffee maker, a microwave, a stove, a refrigerator. It has just what you need to get you through the week. Hey, no, 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 friends, I did not forget you. Breckenridge is a very walkable town. Every street has sidewalks. It's very safe for folks like us. Don't worry if you have limited mobility, elderly, or in a wheelchair. It seems as though this town was built with us in mind. The town is easy to navigate, even with disabilities like mine. The bus system is free for all users, AD equipped, and even has two bike racks per bus for those who ride. I think I'd describe the architecture as Victorian, not the large-scale Victorian, but the cute dollhouse type. You can see all the adorable homes beyond the massive amounts of flowers, but don't pass up on a visit to the Starbucks in the cute little yellow house. It's a great place to have a drink, grab your favorite drink, enjoy. How did Breckenridge get its name? Well, that depends on who you're speaking to. There are two theories. Some say it was named after John Cabell Breckenridge, who was the 14th and youngest ever vice president serving under President Buchanan, while others say it was named for Thomas Breckenridge, who was a prospector. In either case, both theories still exist.
There are two museums in Breckenridge, Colorado, worth mentioning. They represent two very important figures in that area. The first is Barney Ford, who was born into slavery, escaped slavery, and became a very wealthy businessman through his investments in mining, barber shops, hotels, and restaurants. And there's Edwin Carter, a young man who moved from the northeast, northeast of the U.S. to Colorado to, to prospect. He became a naturalist and a taxidermist in an attempt to educate people about how their mining practices were affecting the environment. When you're all finished with the museums, they're shopping. And hey there, Sandy, did you find any bargains in Breckenridge? Mark, this is the one that got away, but there are some great boutique specialty shops. This is actually the first store that I found this beautiful dress. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it, but I love shopping here. Hey, Sandy, what the heck are you doing at Kevin Costner's house? You need to get back here because I have a question for you. How do you rate your vacations? Can you tell the people how you go about doing it? Are you kidding me, Mark? What girl would come this far and not want to see Kevin Costner's house? I hear the property is huge with several private lakes. I think one of them is right behind me. And to answer your questions, there are several things that determine what makes a good holiday for me. Getting there, being there, getting around there. I love history and food, so obviously those two has got to be there. And what's near there are very important. So if I could check all those boxes, I'm a happy camper. So, But stick around to the end. I'll give you more information. Not only are you surrounded with beauty and history here, but there are so many food choices from jerky to Szechuan. We have it on a farmer's market, then we had some lunch. I have to say my favorite part of Breckenridge is the Riverwalk area. The Riverwalk is so pristine, it's clean. It's a great place to be, especially for families. I love to watch the kids climb on the big rocks and squeal when they get into the cold water. Plus you never know what happy surprise you might run into. Sandy, one of my favorite things about Breckenridge is that there's a nearby town called Leadville. And Leadville's filled with all kinds of history. But the favorite thing for me is that there's a Southern Colorado train um, that's based out of there. And you could take a, a ride on the train up through the high Rockies. And it is one of the most beautiful and scenic um, routes you could ever imagine. And it's definitely worth the ride. Two interesting people from Leadville are Molly Brown, the unsinkable Molly Brown, who was on the Titanic, and then there's Doc Holliday, who was in a famous shootout in front of the Silver Dollar Saloon that's located in Leadville.
Hey Sandy, Breckenridge is just a great place to visit in the summer. And it scored high numbers in all of the final 10 categories in our vacation scorecard. I give Breckenridge five latitude junkie stamps, which is the highest rating you can get in our reporting. What are your thoughts? I also give Breckenridge a five latitude junkie stamp. It's definitely on my return destination. Hey, we're the Latitude Junkies, and we hope you join us for our next video in Escape into Adventure.